Hey everyone, this is Vincent from iPhoneism.com and in this video I'll show you the new PCC setup procedure of iOS 5 on iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Basically, when you bought an iOS device in the past, it would require you to connect to iTunes so that it would be activated. So you could not use any new iOS device unless and until it was connected to a computer. However, iOS 5 will change that without requiring you to connect to iTunes. You, all you need to do is just take your device out of its box, go through one or two procedures, very simple procedures, and your device will be completely set up, activated, and you can go on to use it at that very instant. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So I just installed iOS 5 Beta 1 on my iPod Touch 4th generation and now we're going to set it up. So this here it says try to set up. Now it's asking me to select the language of my choice, English obviously. Now click, now you would rather tap on this little arrow up in the right hand side. Now it's asking me to select my country or region. Let's just scroll through real quick. Select, tap on next. Now it's asking me to connect to a Wi-Fi network since I'm not on an iPhone that uses 3G service on 3G iPad. Therefore, it asks me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is my Wi-Fi network. So enter the passcode. And it has joined my Wi-Fi network. Now I tap on next again. So activating my iPod. This process will take up to three minutes. Now you have three options over here. You can either set it up as a new iPod Touch or whatever device that you that you have. You can set it up as an entirely new device, or you can restore from a back backup that has previously been made with iCloud, or you can connect your device to the computer to restore it with the previous backup that you have made with iTunes. For me, it's going to be setting it up as a new iPod Touch. So basically, it will ask you to enter your Apple ID. With iCloud, your Apple ID is going to store everything from music to apps to mails, contacts, literally everything. So you just have to sign in with your Apple ID or create a free Apple ID. If you sign in with an Apple ID that has been used previously on any other iOS device, all of the content that has been associated with that device in iCloud will automatically be pushed to your new device or to the device that you're setting up your Apple ID on. Hence, you won't need to manually sync any of your data from one device to another, which is a very good thing. So I'm just going to sign in with my existing Apple ID. Won't take a minute. That's it. Enter the apply again password. I tap on next. Now it is verifying my Apple ID. This should take about a minute. Okay, so with iOS 5 comes iCloud. It is the new cloud based service of Apple. So iOS 5 would now give you an option to set up iCloud on your device. Obviously, I want to set up, set it up. 
So what iCloud does is that it stores contacts, calendars, photos, music, books, apps, and more in the cloud. And it enables you to access all of that content across all of your devices that use the same Apple ID. Tap on next. Now you have the option to turn on Find My iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You can use this feature to locate if your uh, iOS device gets lost, and you also have the option to remote remotely wipe the data on your device. Obviously, I need it to be on. And now, optionally, you can choose to send diagnostics support back to Apple. For me, I'd rather like it if my device doesn't send any report back back to Apple. That's it. You now get a screen telling you that you have successfully set up your iOS device and you can start using it. So just simply tap this, start using, and you will be taken to the home screen. There you go. This is iOS 5.0 beta 1 running on my iPod Touch 4th generation. And I'll confirm that to you in a minute. There you go, from the version 5.0. Please leave a comment down below if you like this video. And please visit our website iphoneism.com for more updates on iOS 5 and all iPhone jailbreak and unlock related news. This has been sent from iphoneism.com. Thank you for watching this video.